Welcome, collectors. Thank you once again for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of Classic Construction Models' first 148 scale diecast models that they did a number of years ago, in fact, over a decade ago now. This is the CCM Cat 769 Rigid Haul Truck, Rear Dump Truck, or Off Highway Truck. Take your pick. This is significant because this marked Cat's first entry into the uh, off-highway truck market or the dump truck market. It was introduced in 1963 and empty. It weighed in at 52,860 pounds and could carry a payload of 35 tons. So combined, it had a gross weight of 122,860 pounds. It was powered by a Cat 6-cylinder D343 diesel engine producing 400 horsepower. So that made the 769 reach a top speed of 41 miles per hour. Pretty impressive for the time. As I said, the model was produced back in 2010, roughly 11, 12 years ago. Back then, it had a very affordable price tag of $139.95. 2,000 models were made. Back then, CCM did not release reprint brochures or spec information about their model, so you won't find one of these in the box if you search for one. Uh, for those that are interested in the measurements, this model measures out to 6.25 inches long, 3 inches wide, and 3.25 inches tall at its highest point. So again, this was very significant for CCM as a company and also for the CAT scale model range, and you can actually look this up and read about it. This was CCM making a statement that, hey, we are going to break that toy uh, moniker when it comes to you know, cat scale models. We're going to put in a whole lot of extra effort, give you a lot of bang for your buck, and we're going to step outside that comfort zone and do a lot of things that haven't been done yet on models, uh, such as some of the details with headlight lenses, perforated grill, the perforated catwalk outside of it. Again, we're going to take a closer look at all of that. Um, but yeah, this was really significant for 1 to 48 scale and what they were offering back then. Again, bear in mind, there really wasn't any very high quality cat replicas back then that we see now and the quality of cat models back then is even uh when we're talking about what was then Norscott now Diecast Masters uh Diecast Masters has come leaps and bounds from where Norscott used to be um even if you turn the clock back a decade ago so with that information out of the way, let's begin the actual model review for those that haven't turned the channel or clicked off of my channel on YouTube, which I appreciate those that have stuck with me. We are here to learn. Of course, the models are the star of any of these videos, but it is important to give the backstory so that you guys have an appreciation of where we came from, where we're going, and how we got there. So, 2,000 of these were made, which again is a relatively high production run for a CCM piece, but that being said... These 769s are getting pretty darn difficult to find. Uh, very shortly after uh, CCM released the 769B, which actually is a little bit easier to find than this version. Unlike most CCM models, some slight assembly is required. Once you get this out of the box, you have to fix uh, the right side mirror to the model. Now, it tells you really to glue this in place, as you can see. Mine is not glued because I don't glue anything on my models, but it is just sitting in there and it kind of gets the point done. It is a nice piece with a simulated sur silver rather surface on it that was silver and reflected together. I think I just invented my own word, uh, but it does get the job done and it looks okay. As for your decal application, we're talking 1960s here, people, so it is period correct. Cat 769 Caterpillar along the dump bed. As I mentioned before, this is really what set this model apart and got a lot of people excited at the time, uh, showing the possibilities of what could be done for an affordable scale model. You have the uh, perforated grill right here, which actually if I shut up for two seconds and you go over with a pointer, you can hear it. There you go. Again, very impressive. Uh, you have clear molded headlights, which again look absolutely incredible, even by today's standards. Caterpillar up here. Small windshield wiper right here. Uh, hand and grab rails right about there. It's just barely there, but you can see it. That's a better look at it. Uh, bumper bar protection. This is one of my favorite parts of the model. You have this see-through um, guarding or catwalk right outside the cab. Again, if the light hits it perfectly, there you go. You can see that it is 
perforated through. Um, your tires do have a very good tread pattern on it. Again, as I said, you will not find a serial number on any of these uh, CCM models. I shouldn't say any of these CCM models. The first less than a handful of 148 scale die cast CCM models that they did did not come with a uh, spec brochure or serial number. So bear that in mind. Here's a look at your tread pattern. That gives us a good look at the working steering, which has been modeled pretty good. Again, I want to be a little bit careful due to its age, but you can achieve a realistic tread pattern uh, or realistic steering angle rather. Uh, your mud flaps here are made of very flexible and thin rubber, which I like. And there also is quite a bit of detail in the chassis portion of the truck. Back here, you can see that there are metal rock deflectors, which do exactly as their name would imply, and that keeps large rocks from getting stuck between the tandem wheels. Look at that huge diff and the suspension on here. This truck doesn't really have working suspension, but at least some has been molded in. At the back version, you can see that this has kind of the larger style, original 760M dump box style. If you look at the 769B, this is uh, really kind of cut down more than this version is. All right, so let's take a look now at the functionality of this truck. We've gone over the era correct paint markings. Uh, the working steering, the undercarriage, the perforated grille, clear molded headlights, all that good stuff. Let's take a look now at the main functionality of this truck, and that is that it does dump. Now, these cylinders here, although it's hard to see, again, this was really uh, kind of intuitive for its time. This was the beginning of high-quality three-stage cylinders. So you have one here, which is yellow, two, and then if you look right here, try and get this on camera there's number three right here so you have one two three now the dump height angle is not perhaps as much as i'd like to see but something again is always better than nothing and perhaps it might go a little bit more i'm just not willing to break it or overextend it here on camera it's enough for me. If you were to pose it in the display case dumping, that's plenty acceptable, and it looks the part just fine. So that will conclude my review on the original CCM Caterpillar 769 rigid haul truck or rear dump truck. The 769 is one of the most famous pieces of CAT equipment uh, in history due to the fact that it was CAT's, more or less, their first dump truck. And this is a fantastic representation of it. Now, recently I did a a video of the history of the cat 769 dump truck in the scale model community you can check out that video link right here i highly encourage you to watch that especially after you just watched this video it's kind of cool to check it out it's even more cool to see the different generations of the cat 769 truck that has been made in 148 slash 150 a scale um that's on the market that you guys could buy you literally can have a sample in either 148 or 150 scale of every generation of CAT 769 haul truck that's ever been done. That's pretty cool. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll catch you in the next review.